Hey everyone, welcome back to a Let's Play of Heritage with You Know Who. Let's go right into the game. Because I'm sure you all remember what we did last time, and if you don't, just go back through the other two videos and look at it. Basically what we did was, let's see, we got, um, we broke a wall, we found a hidden basement, and we opened a jewelry box to find a note inside. And we looked at a couple notes in a physics book. Other than that, there's nothing else to see. Oh, and we have two more puzzles to do that I have neither of the answers for. And I'm sure the hints are either right here, here, or somewhere down here next to this hypercube. And um, while I was away, I looked at a video of a hypercube simulation going up to from zero to six dimensions. And, um, yeah. So if you don't remember, this is what it looked like. And that's all I have for that. And then... Taking a look at this hypercube over here, behind this brick wall. We also have this. Um, now if I remember, a hypercube goes... The further inward it goes, the more complex it gets. So I'm going to stick this here, this there, and, um, hold on, maybe it's a circle in the middle. Yeah, let's try that. And a cube, that didn't work, okay. Well, this would be, uh, hold on, no, it's more complex the further we go in. So it would be this, this, and circle, right? No. Maybe it's just, well, maybe it's, I don't know. Nope, not this one. Okay, maybe, it, maybe it's circle, square, Q. We tried that already. That didn't work. Um, square cube and lightning bolt, maybe? Ha! I solved it! How's that for you? Yeah! Let's see what's inside. A, a steel ball. A steel ball has a line carved in it. At the bottom, the number one is engraved. What's that supposed to mean? That makes no sense. Maybe we can use it on that drawer upstairs. Hold on. Let's get to the attic. Or maybe... Needs a key. Hold on. Maybe we use this on it? Use. Can't use it like that. That's unfortunate. Okay, maybe... Hold on. Let me close these. Maybe we use this on it? Can't use it like that. That's unfortunate, too. <sighs> okay, so I was wrong. But we have progressed. We have opened the hypercube from random guesses. Anyway. Why is that chair back there? That... That... That, that was supposed to be right here. What the hell? Ah, whatever. The, eh. And we hop down. Maybe we can use it on this. Can't use it like that. That's unfortunate too. Uh What's the point of this steel ball then? 
I mean, it has one on it, but... What the hell? That didn't work. That didn't work either. Eh. Yeah, I don't know about that one. What is the point of this steel ball? It doesn't make any sense. I... I don't understand anything at all. Can we do something with the light switch or, or the light bulb? Anything? No, apparently not. No, it just lags my computer some. <sighs> Sigh. And Marley needs to come and collect the clothes. Maybe we use the sun. Can't use it like that. I would like how to. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. What the? Huh? Uh-huh. Interesting. So where's the next metal ball? Or steel ball, I suppose. Sure you will. Look for small steel balls that have numbers on them. And no. No references, please. Well, I found out something. That's good. To start, uh, how do I open you? If I had like a, a chip or something, get a, a crowbar, you know, or something to open it, or maybe maybe that needs a key too. Maybe the middle drawer unlocks with the um, third door, third drawer on the left. That stuck one. Um, so I'm looking for little steel balls. Balls of steel. I'm apparently looking for Duke Nukem. For he has a... Oh, God, that's just weird. Okay. I'm not even going to go there again. Enough about the steel balls. And just for prosperity, I'm going to... Whoops going to drop those. Now oh, screw it. Uh, what do I do? I am... I mean, I know part of the puzzle, but I still don't get this at all. Yeah. Uh, see, there were three... There were three pieces of paper up there with stuff on them. Well, not too... There were two pieces of paper with stuff on them. And I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And apparently you can bunny hop in this game. Yay! Whoa, I didn't know I could stand on this. That's awesome! Woo! Heh <laughs> I can see. Is there something under here? Apparently not. Okay, let's take a look at this again. Um, I think this was for the hypercube, actually, so let's leave that be. Get up here again. I lag through everything. Turn this on. Uh... See, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. These are the dimensions thing that one paper over there was talking about. Okay, this is the first dimension, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth, and this is the fifth. Duh. Okay.
Okay, hold on. Um. So that turns into that. And we'll hear that turns into that on the top, and then that goes to the top, and then then what? What? That makes no sense. Can I open this, please? Okay, um... Huh. Okay, this just has the same diagram that the one up there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cause this one, this one goes around here, but it says that, huh? Let me read the note. Thank you. But it says that Dimension 4 is down here. That has nothing to do with anything! Weird. This is very trippy. Uh, the circle of our visible dimensions in time as we grasp it. Logically correct to think... See, and the lock looks a lot like this, doesn't it? Maybe it's the one that don't have descriptions. Um, no, that wouldn't make any sense. I've, I think I tried that already, didn't I? Well, let's, let me try it. Let me try it and see if I did it. If I could read this stupid thing. Good grief. Okay, so one. This one, this one, and this one have descriptions of some sort, if I could. And if that doesn't work, then it's, then we either get rid of the four, okay, it was this one and this one, let's try that, that didn't work. Then this one had also, that also had something, that didn't work, okay. Let's try this. No? Okay, that didn't work either. Um, maybe it's this one. No. That one. No. Okay, let's try these ones. Nope. I don't know. very much confused. So weird. I can hit my head on the ceiling, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Oh well, let's head downstairs. I hope there's not any some some sort of pattern in there or anything, because then that would be just incredibly confusing. We'd never get it. so confused. Let's 
Somebody give me help. Grandma, come back to your house and give me a clue. Instead of these stupid notes that are lying around with gibberish about the fifth dimension and other stuff that us regular human beings cannot perceive in the slightest. That's for for nerds and super geniuses. Who even if they can't comprehend it can still get some form of thing like like that one guy from the Big Bang Theory. That television show where, where he and a and a girl meet up and and they're both very nerdy and they come up with these schemes on I don't remember. There was that one with the beaver and if beavers ruled the world and what would the food not what would have what would what uh, what food would not what would people not eat? That's right. And the one guy came in and he's like, "What are you doing?" And we and the other guy's like, "We're playing a game of theoretical whatevers on food and uh, alternate universes." And then the one guy's like, "Okay, I'll try." After some persuasion, and then the one guy's like, "Okay, if beavers ruled the world, what?" What food would mankind not be be allowed to eat? And the man thinks, and he's like, "Well, beavers chew on tree bark, and cinnamon comes from tree bark, so he says cinnamon." And the other guy is like, "No, how could you be so idiotic? It's cheese Danish, and it just made no sense to me either until he explained it that the beavers would build their dams, and then something about..." Um, making a dam and then the the water levels would rise up and then um, the the place where the Danes live would be flooded out and then they wouldn't have ever created their cheese Danish and then then yeah and then one of my friends pointed out that that island is in the middle of the ocean and they'd have to build a lot of dams in order to flood it that that much take all the logs from from land and dump them in the water and see how much the ocean floor or or the ocean level rises up and covers I think Florida would be underwater what food is not from key lime pie that's right we wouldn't have key lime pie that's my theory because Florida would be flooded and then we wouldn't have key lime pie and we all be like damn I miss my key lime pie that stuff was good And I'm getting completely distracted. So let's see here. Um, the fifth dimension they can all... Wow. In the fifth dimension they can see all and through lower dimensions. Are they able to see our past or even our future? I, I just realized that one thing I made looked like a wine glass or something, you know? And this looks like a dream catcher. You have the little hooky thing up here, and then that connects to the rest of the dream catcher, and it catches your dreams. And you're like, oh, so beautiful. I can dream beautiful dreams. I can dream about flying, and nothing can come to interrupt them. Whoa. What the heck? Let's do that again. Whoa. Oh, ho, I can see outside. So beautiful. So beautiful through the roof. I need to climb on top of the roof and just look out over the vast wilderness that is the city. Bah. Oh, I don't get this. I so totally do not get this. This diagram makes no sense. The one from the projector makes absolutely no sense. Then there was the arrow that was pointing over here. Whoops. Oh. Forgot to pop those up. Okay. It was this one, and then it was this one, and then there was this one? Nope. That one? Nope. Maybe it was just these two, I don't know. Brr. Okay, so I am going to cheat, or at least attempt to cheat once again. And so I will see you guys in a minute, because, yeah, that's how
that's how I rolled. I'm tired of looking at all this stuff and trying to understand it and not understanding it at all and... Ah! Just... Bleh. Okay guys, I'm back and I finally found the friggin' answer to that one puzzle to the basement. Apparently... There's some order shenanigans. So let's go over. And the answer to this thing is apparently... This, 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 and this. Or maybe not, hold on. I could have sworn, what? Hey, hold on. Okay, so left, right, up, down, down. See, because I got I got the original version, and this has the things pointing in all these random directions. So I uh, I don't get this. Hold on. Ha! I solved it. There we go. Good grief, that's annoying. Open sesame. Open. Whoa, what the? Whoa. Jeez. I was getting flung all over the place. I hate you, Locke. Alright, let's go down here if I can... Huh? What? There we go. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. Whatever. And again, it wasn't And this time it wasn't it wasn't the music or the fact that it popped up. It was that it laid down. Yeah. Weird. Chemical bottles? Huh. Medical paperwork. Some analysis results hieroglyphics to me. Uh, let's see. Medical tools. Stethoscope, some syringes. Otoscope, whatever that is. Nothing I can use. Nothing I can use, I think, either. Empty drawer. And we saw, all, saw, already saw the chemical bottles. Hospital bed. What? What is happening here? Was she experimenting? Experimenting with my... No, can't be. What is she talking about? Oh. No. That doesn't make any sense. Advanced medical equipment, I won't... Hey, what? I won't be able to understand it. Okay, whatever. Experiment phase one. What? I copied to my notebook. And the periodic table. Yeah. I, whoa, wait a minute. Why is this all in Spanish? I can't read Spanish. Ah! See, this this is all in Spanish. What the hell? No. No, I can't I can't deal with that. No. It just, I'm, I'm out of here. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously. Um But we found our laptop. But first we are going to read experiment phase one. Phase one. Number one, weight loss when brain died. Energy sensors activated instantly after brain's death. Energy sensors? Sensors, what? Energy disappeared in exactly 666 milliseconds. Ha ha. Energy measurement 66, comma 6 kilowatts. Ha ha. Laptop, it doesn't turn on. Seems a battery is missing. Okay, let's put this in there. Two digits last anniversary together. Two digits iron number. Okay, FE, what is, what is FE again? I forget. Um, I think it's 30? Oh, the answer's already here on the periodic table. 
So 48 and 20, is that 26? I think it's, that makes sense, yeah, go away. So 48, 26, 4, 8, 2, 6, 6, check, try, right. Hey, I solved it. Clear now, I cannot read this at all. Clear now, comparing the results from the university laboratory, there's no doubt. I have proof I've sent the video and the audio file. I hope to receive an answer soon. I've made contact with my husband entity or part of him. I actually have discovered the fifth dimension and solved lots of questions. Ghosts? No, it's just a reflection or part of the entire entity. Of course, I still need to do some more research. As for now, I'm not able to understand entity difficulty to pass through our dimension. I could measure the energy produced when he died, and I could... something how that energy disappears into the next dimension in case you guys are wondering why I'm talking so weird I can't read anything beyond this point I can read nothing beyond this point that's all uh, I can measure the energy produced when he died and something about energy disappears into the next dimension through these years of sacrifice finally I can talk to him again see him talk to him ultimate question is solved life after death affirmative leave So, now what? Is that it? Is that all? That can't be all. Nah. She was exper- Oh my god, she was experimenting on her- On my grandfather. Ugh, that's just disgusting. Yeah. Let's close that for now. Do I have anything else in my inventory? No, I don't, apparently. Maybe, maybe, hold on. Maybe I can go over and open that drawer up now. Grandfather, grandmama, are you gonna... No, <laughs> oh, what the... <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh god. Oh god, what is going on? Help me. No. <sighs> I'm scared. Oh god, that scared me so bad. <laughs> oh god, I'm terrified. Freaking pianos! What the hell was that anyway? That was just a rag doll of some sort just going. Bruh. Seriously, Grandma, I thought you loved me. Why would you do this to me if you loved me? And now it's raining all of a sudden. Did I get? Did I become unconscious or something while all that happened? Did time just fly by me? And. I don't like this, it's dark. You turning on? Apparently that still works. Which is weird. Okay, um... Is this going to open now? Close. Still stuck. Great. <sighs> okay, I'm better now. I've calmed down from the ordeal. Now what? See, this is the worst kind of horror game, where you're focusing on all the puzzles and then wondering what you're going to do next, and then all the- OH MY GOD! Oh. What's this? Just steal a ball. I'm scared. Well, I found one steel ball, or at least one more steel ball. Hold on. Two. Okay. Oh god, what's gonna happen now? Okay, eyes closed. I'm going to walk to the drawer with my eyes closed. 
Nothing? Okay. Oh! The drawer's open now. Cool. If I could have that steel ball, please. Actually, first, let me... Hold on. Yes! Whoa. Oh, good grief. What is going on this time? Okay, with three, with four random clicks, I solved it. Awesome! I don't even know what I did. Are you kidding me? This doesn't need a... Oh, wait a minute. That opens. Ha! I have an old key. Right. Use it. Use this. Open. My heritage. Some kind of legacy? Copy to my notebook. Let's take a look. Now you know what I found. The link between our dimension and theirs is our mind. All notes and puzzles surely helped you understand, and now you are ready. This is the legacy I left for you. This is your opportunity to elevate to another level. As your grandfather did it to me, I'll do it to you. Look, oh my god. I don't want to look behind me. Ah! Grandma, why'd you do that? Well, anyway, that was Heritage. <sighs> okay, I can see why they call it a horror game now. Oh my god. For a while there, it was really confusing, and then you get past the door, and everything just goes haywire. Wow. That is, that is one of the few games that has really scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. And that was the credits. <laughs> well then, there you were, guys. That was Heritage. <laughs> I am going to go down outside where it is kind of sunny outside and warm and comfy, and I'm going to have some ice cream. That sounds good. Yeah, I'm going to have some ice cream. And read a book and read a book about cats and solving dead dead people and I'm just gonna go. Goodbye.